There you go. Hello, everybody. We are sitting. Michaela and I are sitting in our our new our you know new to us RV out at uh, at the hospital parking lot in the back of the Bethany Children's Health Center. Mm -hmm. Little Jamie's asleep, and Michaela really wanted to make a video and show you all around. And just we really cannot make enough of these and say thank you. We just we could probably release one like every two days, just saying thank you, thank you, thank you. We should really start that off. We just start the video. And go thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So, I'll hand it to her now. Okay. I'm going to have my coffee. Um, real quick, I had my eye surgery thing yesterday, and man, it was it was rough. I don't want to do that again. Uh, I'm definitely going to be more careful about taking care of my eyes, but um, a good friend drove me there, and they had to get me an inject, two injections. They like put a one-inch needle, like, into her face. Like, I heard they buried the needle. I had to go, like through the eyelid but not hit her eyeball I don't know how they did it I'm glad I didn't have to watch it because I just had to look through it but um, anyway it's they use the scalpel they had to pull stuff out of both my eyes so um, well, I look like I came out of a, a fight <laughs> it's a little puffy it's a little puffy but anyway so I'm on the other side of it though so I'm very very happy about that but anyway thank you for all your prayers and for those that reached out with um, suggestions for eye care I really really appreciate it sounds like a lot better at that um, oh, they did tell me that stress thickens the oil gland, or the oil in the oil glands, and so they said they see it more commonly during times of stress. So I can't imagine what oh, we've thought. been going through. Okay, right, I'm gonna give you a tour of the RV. So let me turn turns around. I love this RV; it is perfect. Okay. Oh, there's our there's our muffin. We're gonna eat a little bit. Okay. So we're in the main living room. This is uh, the little couch area and those fold out into pretty much mostly sleeping I mean, you could they they just fold thick. mostly flat you know. yep this where jeremiah is sitting this is the the dinette and this folds into what like a double the table goes down and, and this the, becomes a bed i mean it's you know it's almost a double so you could sleep easily four four at least yeah four bodies I mean, in here yeah, but, i mean it's not perfectly flat so we have kids that can sleep on those chairs so easily yeah so Okay, the main reason I think we got this trailer was because of the kitchen. You see this trail back up, so you see the whole kitchen. But the amount of surface space in this for a RV is really good. And because we're going to be doing a lot of food prep, especially as Jamie's healing, we're probably going to put um, the blender and the, juicer. Um, the juicer over on this counter. And then I really like having counter on both sides of the stove. And it has a big sink, so... It'll be really easy to wash all the large, you know, large equipment things. So, we have anyway. a better sink here than we do in our house right now. I know. <laughs> it's true. Okay, so this over here, this is the bunkhouse. And I thought I was going to have to give a bunk of, I thought I would have to give up the bunkhouse in order to have a big kitchen. But this is just the one floor plan that seemed to have everything. So this couch folds out into a bed, puts the kids there. Um, this bed up here kind of tilts up. And so there's more headroom if you're sitting down here, but that's a bed. And then this side has like a loft bed. Those foam pads are, are for extra cushion. And then it has this little cabinet. So girls are gonna have to figure out how we're gonna organize this room. All right, back into the main part of the RV. Uh, it's got a pretty full normal size kit, um, normal size um, refrigerator. And then that's a pantry right there. Uh, this TV's here. It might come down. We need a place, a good prayer altar place. So I think this TV might get nixed, but it's a nice TV. And then this is the front door, the screen. And now we're going back into the master bedroom area. And this is a king bed. I'm so grateful. And it's, it's very comfortable. So um, this RV is a few years old. And so some of the stuff in here was put in by the previous owners that... Um, Apparently took very good care of it. It was a trade-in. They just upgraded to a diesel pusher, so that's why this was turned in. Um, and so you see there's um, two different doors coming into the bedroom. I really got, the other really important thing to me, besides the kitchen, was I needed the master bedroom to have um, two, two ways of getting out because some of my kids are small and they get scared at night. They need a place to be able to come and be close to me. So we can just put floor pads here on the floor for whichever kids need that. Um, yeah, actually, there's actually space under here. I might be able to squeeze a 
a little one under here. Um, it's a big bed, so we could have, have a kid you know, climb into bed with us. Um, but basically, we can close this door right here. And at night, this is a lot of floor space here. But um, if a kid was laying here, we can exit out through the bathroom. The bathroom has another door right there going to the main part of the RV. So that flexibility of having the two doors to the master bedroom was really important. And I think what we'll do is this little area here is where we're going to put a little portable desk. And that's where I'm going to try to get work done uh, for liturgy of the home um, while the girls are, are doing doing their work or their school. But there was, um, it's really nice having a space to work that's quiet back here. Um, and this just, it's so beautiful. We are so grateful to everyone that has helped us to get this RV. It is going to just make life so much easier going through this. This is uh, the bathroom. It has a, a nice shower, toilets right there. And then you open this door and then you're back in the main, the main area again. So it has four slides. Um, everything just works great, I guess. Well, I guess I could show, show you the outside real quick. All right, this is gonna be a longer video than I meant it to be. Oh my goodness, it's bright out here. Hey, my sunglasses. My eyes are still kind of sensitive because of the surgery yesterday. Um, this is the outside. <coughs> this is called the Flagstaff Classic. I forget the model number that it has, but if I come over here. Um, so this is the hospital in the background, that brick building. I think Jamie's window's the top, top level, the sixth window, I think, from the, from the left. So we can, up in his room, we can see this, this RV. Um, I'm going to circle around because, um, there's a really lovely little, like, grassy area over here past the tractor. That tractor's there because they're remulching trees for the spring. And so they just have a you know pile here and they're they're moving away. But anyway, the girls can run around and play here. And this is all part of the hospital property. Um, and so it's monitored by security. There's a security car over there actually. Um, and then in order for us to get to Jamie, we just have to walk down around this building and then the entrance is on the other side. So Alrighty, I'm gonna head back inside, go get my sunglasses, finish my coffee. But I wanted to say hello and say thank you again so much and um, we'll be keeping you updated. Thank you.